Another, uh, let's call it a hit off this album, The Wind Cries Mary. Um, certainly one of his more ballad tracks and slower. I, I caught a bit of an interview with Eddie Kramer, or maybe it was a documentary, but um, he was talking about this one, and J- Jimmy kind of notoriously loved to have the, the amps up loud, buzzy, you know, rocking, and him and Chaz really had to, like, throttle him here, like, no, this is a ballad. Like, take it easy. Take it down a notch. We're mm-hmm. going to settle this right into its spot. Because th- that's exactly what this is. This is just a low, slow, easy-going ballad. Um, and so you can't really have it up. But he still hits a few licks in here. That, like, he's almost, like, rebelling against the, the, the guys in the studio a little bit. <laughs> uh, regardless, a lot of nature motif here. Vocal work is awesome. Again, he's just so sweet with it on this one. Um, great intonations, perfect level for this story, for this song. I, I like this one a lot, too. The story behind the song is hilarious. So this was inspired by his girlfriend at the time. Uh, her name was Kathy, Kathy Mary. Uh, he'd gotten into an argument with her about her cooking. She got angry and started throwing pots and pans and then finally stormed out to stay at a friend's house for a day or so. So when she came back, he had written the song for her, The Wind Cries yeah. Mary. And Kathy Mary recalled... We'd had a row over food. Jimmy didn't like lumpy mashed potatoes. <laughs> there were thrown plates, and I ran off. So he wrote this song. They got in a fight over lumpy mashed potatoes. And this is this is one of his, you know, arguably top ten songs of all. Like, yeah, right, yeah. right. And it's it's just so funny that it's like he wrote this over mashed potatoes. What the hell? <laughs> That's funny too, or not funny necessarily, but you know, I I, I was reading about a little bit about his alcohol problems, um, and it's like everybody you talk to when he was. Jimmy, you know, when he wasn't drinking, he was pretty loose, easygoing, you know, lackadaisical kind of guy. And then I guess alcohol turned him into this, like, demon man. Mm. Just an absolute beast. Probably goes um, back to some of that family stuff you are saying earlier. Yeah, that's got to be part of it. Um, and so that's, that's just funny to see. Not funny necessarily, but interesting to see this side of him over fucking mashed potatoes. Yeah, and I guess to... Uh, so he... He, he didn't end up showing the song to anyone initially. And after recording Fire, which is, uh, you know, another it's could be taken as like a, a kind of sexual song. He had 20 minutes to spare in the studio. So he ended up showing The Wind Cries Mary to the yeah, band. Yeah, I heard this. And the band was like, yo, we need to record this like now. Like this yeah. is a good song. Yeah. So they ended up recording it in the 20 minute period that they had. It was fucking crazy, man. Yeah, Chaz is freaking out. He's like, Jimmy, we only got so much time, brother. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And Jimmy just started, like, putting together the demos, like, right then. And uh, what uh, the boys, Mitch and, and Noel, just got right in there, got it, and they did it, and it was done. 20 minutes flat. Yeah, and this song's really cool. Lyrically, like, you know, uh, about a girl. Somewhere a queen is weeping. Somewhere a king has no wife. In the wind, it cries Mary. And it's got the iconic opening, the dun, dun, yeah. dun. Yeah, I love that simple like bass tone to it. Yeah, love it. 